Hello everyone. Uh, I didn't want to restrain myself from doing these uh, as I am inspired, so I thought I'd record this one. Um, so right now I'm working on a CMF application to get funding for a project and maybe kick things going. I wanted to get more in detail uh, about that when I'm kind of more through. <laughs> but um, while I was doing it, I came up with this, this thing I wanted to share, which was um, I wanted to talk about confidence because as you're building this application, these, well, applications in general, uh, be it for CMF or any kind of funding or uh, proposals to publishers or anything like that, is you're um, proposing a case wherein uh, if you can do what your side can, is claiming to do, they'll do their end and everything will work out. So um, it's been a funny thing where earlier on I had tried for one of these and um, it just went, it was bad. <laughs> um, it, it didn't go to hell or anything. I didn't even get it approved and it was looking back, it was very obvious. Um, but what was so funny was that actually going through the process of trying to apply for this meant that uh, I got to be aware of the things that are important uh, on the business side uh, of, of doing all this stuff, uh, but I digress. Talking about confidence, um, all of these factors that my skill set, uh, any experience you have, are these things that are contributing to this case that you're putting forth. Um, and so, uh, if you are serious and legitimately trying to, to fulfill these um, marks or, yeah, marks, uh, going through the, the, the dance of how do we get through funding and, and produce a project. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, is that um, you have to be confident in it yourself. Like you're looking at uh, what they're asking of you and you're going, yes, I completely agree that these are all necessary things. Um, so then you want to prove it to yourself and therefore, arguably, we would say that you can submit with confidence. But I mean, whoever feels that way <laughs> when they're doing anything like this stuff. Um, so then it's like, okay, I'm talking about doubt, I'm talking about confidence, what am I getting at here again? Um, is It's so funny that despite having all of these objective metrics and markers, you know, that I am fulfilling and meeting, um, I feel this this uncertainty or this doubt. So then it's like, where is this confidence supposed to come from or, or why are you doing it? So it's like, well, uh, I say, why are you doing it? And I say, well, the very first thing is fake it till you make it. You're trying to um, portray yourself as an ideal vision of yourself. And, you know, I would say I'm a confident person. You know, when, when things are good, it's, it's, I'm confident. Um, but yet you still don't feel confident in these moments where you've got butterflies, you have to plead some case and say that you're worth anything to some strangers that are going to go, eh, whatever. Like, it's like, it's, it's totally, um, that's fine, but it's not, you're, you don't need to fake it completely, I guess. It's that I feel as I've been thinking about it, you're we're hoping for an emotional response wherein we uh you feel that confidence and it gives you vigor and let's go and you know huzzah but i think you're kind of more it, what's more important is leaning into the objective confidence is that despite your unease and your your disgust in trying to approach this stuff you know you're horrified or whatever you i'm horrified <laughs> but um it's that if you can go, okay, I'm laying out this case on this track and it's supposed to, you know, plead my case and I'm confident in it enough to ask this entity to, to do the dance with me, then yeah, don't, don't look to feel good about it. Just um, march kind of through it. I don't mean march like, you know, just force it through but I mean like do it not expecting anything to make you feel confident about it but just make sure that as you look and ref uh, um, 
you know, mirror it to the model that you're supposed to be. I, I'm so sorry about, I don't have uh, curtains. <laughs> as you match it to the model, use that objectively, like look at its formation, I guess, uh, whatever that means. We could talk about it later if you want. Um, look at the structure of it and make sure that it's matching those things. And hopefully with your flourishes and embellishments that make it, you know, really supreme. But such that you can just go, I don't feel good about this, but I can be confident that I can submit it and put, put it forth. Just like I was saying about doubt, it's like it doesn't matter if they'll like it or not. I'm going to get something out of this and I'm, I'm already getting stuff out of it as I go. So it's like, um, think of that as the means for your confidence more so than just how you feel. Um, because this stuff is fight or flight, kill or be killed stuff. So, well, no doubt you're sick. You don't want to be killed. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I was thinking about confidence in that and it's like... Um, I guess it kind of gives me more confidence just because I can I can display some of the weight and burden of it on my ex Oh, I gotta get going to stuff Well, there we go. I think that's a perfect Stopping point. Um, so I, I hope that I can uh, get these to you guys and let me know how these are I I have no idea. I mean, I, I just think it's kind of cool to like see this out and try and lay it out and if you like it, tell me, and uh, if you don't like it, tell me, I guess, and I'll try something else. So, um, yeah, thanks, you guys. Uh, till the next one.